So I found the theme Tribes and Trolls very interesting because not only can you interpret it in your own way, but you can also see them in different point of views. The word tribe is a word that has about five definitions. And the one I chose for today is a group of people that have a common character or interest. So when I read Trolls, the first thing that popped in my mind was giants because isn't that what we saw in movies like Harry Potter? But then when I did my research, I found out that tribe can also be a betrayer or an enemy. So it's like saying advantages and disadvantages, and almost everything we have in life has both. And I define the word troll as a barrier. We all have something or someone that I call a barrier to success. And instead of just stopping there, you should continue even if you might take risks. Sometimes you are your own barrier thinking you can never be like them. The question is, what made you so different? And remember that you always have people that care about you and want you to, to do your best and achieve life at your fullest. I define the word tribe as a group of people that care about each other. And I definitely think that you could do it, even if I might not know your name, but you can do it. I think everyone can achieve what they want. If you want it, you can do it. A lot of the times, uh, life can give someone something and, you, uh, and others another thing. But instead of saying, why not me, say, I could be even better. Technology and books can also be your friends. Nowadays, if you want help or you want something that will change your mood, we tend to go to our computers or phones and we watch videos or talk with friends. And for one, when I'm sad or mad, I go watch funny videos, especially the ones where babies taste lemon for their first time. So, can technology actually betray us? And I say, of course, from hacking to leaking your information to giving up everything you have to sending you viruses. And when you go shop online shopping, have you ever thought they could steal your money? Have you ever thought that once a person gets hold of that website, they can literally take all your money? I personally don't trust online shopping unless it's a website where it sends your thing to your house, then you pay it. Now, being friends with book is another thing. When I read books, I see myself as a, as a character in the book where all I do is watch what is happening. And books make your brain function better, and that's honestly what my mom tells me. I'm the kind of person that would read a book only if they asked me to. And I open the book, and I start reading, and I end up really liking it. But just the fact of opening a book in my free time and starting to read it makes me so lazy. So I tend to go watch other videos. A lot of the times, we, a lot of the people right now just go on their internet and don't read a book because technology has covered a big part of knowledge. And right now, we cannot see the beauty of a book anymore because of the influence of the digital world. So, can a book actually betray you? And I say, of course, if you were wanting it to, if the plot changed, and you wanted the book to be in another way. A lot of people have problems, and people that don't, they don't like. But you should continue, even if you know that there's this problem in your life. I take peer counseling class, and what I do is that I talk to people and help figure out what they have in their life. And what I learned is that each problem you have should be at least, and by talking it out, and just talking it out in the beginning, you feel less pressure, and you should say it to a person that cares about you and, and wants you to succeed. And if you get help, maybe your problem will be solved. I also learned in peer counseling class that there are only nine personalities in this whole world. And it is proved by each religion. I've learned that knowing your personality and knowing other people's personality makes it way easier for you to communicate with other people. And by knowing your personality, you pass the Enneagram test. And I learned that the world is not perfect. But what makes us perfect is our imperfections. 
And I say, I am perfect in my imperfections, secure in my insecurities, happy in my pain, strong in my weakness, and beautiful in my own way. I am me, and you should be you. <laughs> and the truth is, is that we are all perfect. Thank you.